Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Our guest on the show tonight is Pastor Mankush. But before, before we get to that part of the show, there are a few things from this past week that we can't just let slide. The NYS scandal, NYS scandal, uh, made one of the suspects, Angrita, look so bad that she was pictured in court applying lipstick in a bid to restore her image. <laughs> <laughs> the case is, the case is that she received 60 million without supplying anything to the NYS. She did not even apply for the tender. Actually, word is that in the whole NYS saga, the lipstick is the only thing she has ever applied. <laughs> <laughs> and she is a millionaire. You can't make this up. And now in the fight against corruption, the president has announced that public officials uh, will now be taking the lie detector test. And those who fail will be sent home. It's a brilliant idea. It's bound to work unless they take it through parliament. <laughs> <laughs> I know all Kenyans are liars, like in the parliament in your headquarters. Because there, a truth today can be a lie tomorrow. In other news, police ambushed a group of Kenyans uh, drinking out of the set timetable uh, of drinking. Ile timetable government in America was uh, on Saturday. And what unfolded was epic. Our reporter Kenyanjui has it all for you in one piece. Check this out. The heroic act by Malian immigrant Ama Ukipedam Samaria Mwema, who saved a baby hanging from a building in France, was replicated in Kenya this week when members of the Kenya Drunkards Association, Nairobi branch, known for the Yamoto, Aim Higher, went climbing this building to save themselves from police officers who ambushed them drinking outside the drinking timetable. Guess what critics have slammed the act of moving to the top of a building as stupid because they complicated the case even more. Police were after them for being high and they chose to go higher. <laughs> the police officers drawn from the anti-staggering squad tasked with harvesting individuals under the influence of the liquid version of the Tanzanian president conducted the operation ad. It has been noted that they were very reasonable since and others were asked to lie down and think about what they had done before being uploaded na kuigizwa kwenye tetanus mobile ama ukipeda gari ya kajo in Raymond's language. The drunkards were later taken for detox at City Hall abapo walipewa supu na matuda na wakabiwa wasirudia tena. Representing the Guesswork Fraternity on the Wicked Edition, it is the one and only. Kenya. Chewy. And now to the main subject of our show tonight, the prize of the war against the devil. I don't know why we even play that, but I just have a feeling it's necessary. You don't go my many bumper too. Cock your gun, shoot stand. That's it. I knew there was something special about that song, Spiritual Taekwondo. <laughs> I remember when going to church was purely about killing the devil. Every Sunday, our pastor used to come to church. <laughs> Shetania na kanyangu mpaka after service, what's left of the pastor's shoes is this. <laughs> now that, that has changed. That has since changed. Most churches now, miracles and blessings have been left to those who can afford it. Now most sermons have shifted from how to live righteously to how much you need to give to live lavishly. Now towards the end of last year, uh, Reverend Kathy Kiuna tweeted and I quote, Before the end of December, you shall be driving your own car in Jesus' name. Hashtag 40 days of glory. Hapo kwa gari ndio sijui, but I am no for sure what wali endesha last year. <laughs> she prophesied a breakthrough, but what uh, was heard of was an outbreak. But there's a catch to the driving. You have to have faith. Up to that point, I cannot argue. Faith is very complicated. And that is what, uh, that is what some spiritual leaders exploit. Towards the end of last month, again, Social media was on Reverend, Reverend Cathy's case after she sent out a post, and I quote, uh, tithing is an obedience issue. You cannot be a tither, a sincere tither, and remain poor. Hashtag open heavens 2018. 
And again, a lot of people had issues with that. With that. Such controversies drew a very thin line between the false prophets and the real servants of God. The issue of religion is very sensitive. I know that, as it is very serious. See, religion is very personal. People practice it differently. One thing most people have in common is what they do when they practice religion. Yes, shoot Satan. I love some people get exploited in the process yeah, devil was dead. See, presently it's very difficult to separate uh, some churches from nightclubs. Quick question. These days, where do you find wines and spirits and loud music on Friday nights? Oh, wait, there's another clue. You have to pay for the service. You guessed right, you're Nikesha. <laughs> <laughs> and if you thought I meant an, a nightclub, I'm sorry. You are also right. <laughs> in fact, the roles have rever are reversed now. Secular music plays in churches as frequently as gospel uh, music is played in nightclubs. That's a good balance, though. Nyashinski na sauti zoru wa shikilie injili kwa club, alafu wili Paul wa shikilie dunia kwa kanisa. But that does not mean that all churches forgive their members for singing secular music. Some members of an Akorino church hunted down one of their members from Kayole to Moranga for removing his turban to perform secular music in uh, clubs. Listen in to the narration, mm, to, to a narration of how the drama unfolded. The lady doing the narration did it like a Hollywood script. Look out for how professionally she played the conversation between the father and the son. Babaka kukuja kuwaga, akamwambia sami, nimefikiri akama nitaaga. Na sitaki, nisikia unatoa iyo kakofia. Ikoe nako, kama kiremba. Sami nae akamujibu, baba. Mimi nitaweza kuiba nyimbo cha chota nikitaka. <coughs> Akamwambia vile utafikiria ndio utakaa na nyumawe ujue mwisho wako vile utakaa dunia hii. Naye akamjibu baba nikipata kati bali kongini popote nitaweza kuenda. Akamwambia ndio lakini hiyo kofia usitoe mirere na mirere. See, one of the values taught in church is forgiveness. But here is Kudanganye. These days, the church is the last place you will be forgiven. I believe the Mbakasi Ranching and uh, company chairman made that very clear. Nikienda kaniza mutu wa litukane. Hakuna kungoja. Uko, uko, tuko kaniza uko. Washa tumuamike uko. This bite always makes my day. I keep playing it in my mind over and over again. Iyo kitu ni bamba. Just the idea of being in a church, I love you. I'm going to sacrament. That's holy war. Baka, you know, I'm. Hey, Baba, bariki coffee before your servant. I bariki a napo imega. Na ifike, if napo fika katika muri wa kweza kusaidia mahari katika muri huo. Now shoot your dad. Now I believe the point is home. A church may preach forgiveness, but don't be shocked if you don't find it there. I'm not an expert in uh, spiritual matters. Me pia ni kondo kama wewe. So, <laughs> that's why you have mchungaji Paul Kuria or Man Kush, as he's popularly known, to help us break this down even further on the other end of this break. See you in a bit. Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. The subject of our show tonight is more in the line of church and business. And our guest is arguably one of the few pastors in the country who has another job. Man Kush, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, sir. Unafanya kazi ngapi wewe kwanza? Zile ni najua ni saba. <laughs> zile saba. <laughs> zile saba. Actually, one of the, your profiles, Zimeandikwa, mm. ati you dig, unachimba... 
uh, I used to be a pit starter in professional digger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one who was getting the contract and yeah. my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the subject of our show tonight, ni story, yeah, it's very controversial. Ya, yeah, watu kutuwa sadaka na kanisa, nini nini, sadaka inendanga wapi, tuwa sadaka inenda kwa mungu. And uh, one of the popular pastors, uh, Reverend Kathy Kiuna, was in hot soup the other day, wakati alitweet, akasema, watu watu etaith, alafu, hakuna mtu watakuwa pure. No one, no one who gives tithe is ever poor. God doesn't abandon people that uh, give tithe. What's the truth in that? Number one, uh, sadaka haitolewi dio mungu wapewe yeah. kwa sababu mungu halipagi maraika <laughs> <laughs> number two yes. God is a spirit everyone around him in heaven is a spirit they don't eat uh -huh. they don't travel with uh, the mobile cars and what have you yes. so they don't spend money in heaven yes. we spend money down here yes. that's why we ask for it Yes. Because we want to spend it. <laughs> Do you have another question? Has it not ever, ever put you in trouble? No, 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 no. It's because the people who come to the church, number one, they are educated, they are learned, they are mature. So, so I don't just talk to, to people who are, are carrying uh, bananas in their next and you haven't gotten into any trouble for being such an honest uh, man of god i uh, get i get a lot of trouble because many pastors like to hide they say it belongs to god okay nothing belongs to god come to joy center joy center is mine yes you know these are the churches every church has an owner yes 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 the roman cast the catholic the owner is in rome yes <laughs> anglican church the owner is in igrad yes uh presbyterian the other the owner is uh, is uh, somewhere somewhere I'll tell you, in Scotland. Thank you, bro. Yes, yes. Enjoy Center, the owner is in Westlands. <laughs> so it goes like that. So, so does, that mean, does that mean that all these pastors who claim that uh, wana ukipeana pesa inenda kwa mungu, ama unatoa, unatolea mungu, they lie to their people? No. La kwanza hakuna soko haina muenda wazimu. <laughs> so, usichukua muenda wazimu and you try to stereotype that everybody in the market is okay. running banana upstairs. Okay. No. We have very genuine pastors. We have pastors who have already uh, come, come into pastoral because they failed in Form 4. <laughs> okay. We have pastors who are, are having the calling. <laughs> okay. We have other pastors who come and find a complete church. Yes. And because they have finished uh, something called theology, yes. they are now employed by the church yes. to preach to people yes. while they, the teacher who taught them what they are going to preach yes. sometimes needed to be taught before teaching them. So whatever they transfer to these pastors was error, effectively. <laughs> so, which type of pastor are you? I, am, I was called. I have left a lot of jobs, my brother. Okay. I, I'm a professional boxer. I have done it for 16 years. Joke with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Na mimi si wale ati ukinigonga padini kupatie hii. No, 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 no. Ata sayi wenye umeokoka. Excuse me, my brother. Yuri alisema hivu walikufa. Dr. Kingoli, Jesus only preached for three years. I have preached for 30 years. <laughs> Mankush. Yes. Pastor Kuri. Yes. How do you convince someone as a meheane na we unasema mtu wakikuweka pandei unamukuta na ngumi? Sio kusema ni memgoga hata ni samehe. Ya kwanza ni yae lianza. Kwa hivyo ni kamusamehe. Lakini nika mwenyesha diwa sinigoke tena. Siyata mariza ya, mariza papasta ya. Papasta wa protectiwe. They should be protected. So as in, for you forgiveness works the other way around. Wewe ndi unasamehewa. Forgiveness is like Christianity. It's way of life. If you are not born in it, you cannot forgive. There's no doubt about Let that. Let me come to the point that brought me here. Yes. With the one you are saying that Cathy did. Yes. And said that if you tithe, you are going to receive blessings. Okay. It is true. Okay. Tithe, it is for your own benefit. Atam sipo toa tithe, I will still survive. I can make it without you, but you cannot make it without God. I am here as a mouth of God. Yile mkata ilitengenezwa na mama, haiku kuriwa na mungu, ilikuriwa na Elijah. Elijah akakura. 
na mtoto okay. alikuwa hapo na Biblia haina mahali imesema alipenyulia mtoto. <laughs> alikula ikaisha. <laughs> Ilipoisha akaona ni sahani tupu. Kijana akaanza kuwabia mama yake. Sasa mawe unaona. Nilikwambia huyu huyu amekuja kudoa bread yetu. Sasa tunaishia. Imeenda. Elijah akamwambia, "Ah, wacha panganga. Enda angalia chupa ya mafuta na wewe angalia chupa ya eh, nyungu ya ya unga. Zilikuwa zimejaa. Kazi yetu mahubiri ni kukura naye mugu ajaze manyugu. Ninu tunakaa hapo." What is your problem? No, no, me, I, I don't have a problem. And what is the problem with the people I, who are just keeping on fighting people, fighting fighting pastors who are receiving tithe? Tithe kwanza hyperequity. Tithe does not belong to development of church. Tithe is forever. It's, it's mine and mine alone. Hata saa hii niko hapa sijahesabu, ziko kwa gari. <laughs> it's mine, but the offering yes. is for the church work. Why do we give tithe? We give tithe to the person ni kama vile ukikura Hilton huwezi lipa Intercontinental. Okay. Utalipa mahali umekura. Umekuja kanisani nimekulisha chakula ya kiroho. Toa tithe bwana hata mimi ni mange. Ni nini <laughs> wewe? But then, but then, shida, shida, shida inatokea wapi? Mm. Why can't all pastors be straight with Kenyans like you are? Like straight with they people? They cannot be, be straight. To... No. In every institution, there are, there, are, there are rotten elements. How can you do? Mungu alisema tukue pamoja. Atakuja kuchagua. Okay. Asa siyo kati yangu. Kasi yangu kuchagua chagua. Sao. How many churches do you have? I have 36 now. 36 And uh, maybe the end of the next month, I'm opening for the 37 one. I And I train my pastors. Do you have And I tell like them don't take money to the bank when your wife is not wearing a good cloth. Address. Ikule. Wakati amuna chakura mezani usipereke pesa ya kanisa bank. Yes. No, 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 no. Kureni kwanza mukishiba, save the rest. Okay. We have churches everywhere. We have churches that uh, kuna kanisa alafu na club. Ama ni club. Alafu kanisa. Hata hiyo ni mzuri hiyo iko na kanisa alafu club. Yangu ni kanisa alafu lodging siju. <laughs> <laughs> eh Bruce Spring, si ukuje. Kuja Bruce Spring on your way to the swimming pool. I'm in the basement. Ju ni 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 kinyozi na gym na lodgings. Sasa hata watu wakitoka kanisa na wabiaga. Tafadhali don't keep on telling people where you are coming from. Mwambie nilikuwa humu humu. Yeah, I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you think people are going to heaven with the way the world is right now? Uh, nobody is interested with them in heaven so quickly because in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, God chose me in him before the foundation of the earth. So if he needed so much, me so much in heaven, he could have brought, not brought me down here. God did not bring me here to start a journey to go back in him. He brought me here with a purpose. So that he can be happy when he looks at me. The way I am happy when I look at my goats, my sheep, my cows, and I feel I'm somebody. So God, do the same. So don't try to die quickly. Okay. Na mungu wa metupea mpaka chakura. Mungu wa wezi kukunyima ugali ya kupea uzima wa mirere. That is not the God that I trust. That's not the God that I serve. Anime ugali ya lavu wa niambia, aranipea uzima wa mirere. Which is more variable. Sia nipe ugari, nikule, nishibe, nifanya kazi yake. Watu wa okoke, waede kwake, watoe sadaka, ikuje kuwagu. Tunakawana kazi. Watu wakiokoka hawanifuati. Wakiokoka wanaeda kwa mugu. Wakitoa sadaka sipereke yeye. Kwa sababu niye anasema mutu wakule jasho yake. Na nikiubiri ni mimi natoa jasho. Kwa hivu watuwe sikuri sana. And unajua manukush. You've said a lot of controversial things that we, like in where unajua uko na kitu ya kujitetea. You can go before the Lord and say you are just joking. No, no, What no, 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 no. What happens to the other people? Let me tell you something, Kengori. I cannot be saved or preach like any other pastor for me to qualify to be a pastor. When I went to the shop and bought this suit, you are not there. I don't need any compliments. Telling me I'm smart or I'm not smart is none of my business. I knew when I wear it, I'm smart. Many people are so much confused because they are depending on other people's opinion to know who they are. I don't care whether, whether you are going to say, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a pastor to you, but I'm a pastor to 3,000 people. They always come to my church. Okay. Not to our, it's to my. <laughs> and it is registered. And I preach well. 
I give them good salmon. That's why they come the next week with more money than the money they had come with. <laughs> uh, <coughs> okay. Oh, another question. <laughs> I think you've answered the, my most curious point. Yeah, your point, your yeah, type. Kabisa, kabisa. Kuna but katika sure. kanisa, kuna taith, na kuna offering, na kuna rough offering. Hakuna mtu hata moja anachukuruwa buduki, hivi. Atoe sadaka, ama atoe taith. You do it voluntarily. Yes. You see, because when I did it last time like this, me, I don't only give 10%. I also give 100%. Because it, beca it comes back to you? No, 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 no. <laughs> because the more you give, the more you receive. That is a principle. <laughs> so it's an investment. It, it's, it's, a, it's a principle. Ukitaka hii taa izimike, hakuna haja maobi, baba naoba taa izimike. That's nonsense. Enda kwa switch. It's a principle. Switch off. Na wea ukitaka kupata nyingi, peana nyingi. Kupeana nyingi, siyo kusema utaeda binguni. Kuenda binguni, ni kujuana na buwana. Is, is a personal relationship with God. But having money in this world is because you know how to give. Aye. Those who don't know how to give, they are dead sea. They only have inlet. They don't have outlet. Even a frog cannot survive in them. <laughs> yes, sir. That, with, that, uh, with those uh, remarks, Kwai Kamera Apa Sai, I think speak to three people. Kenyans, uh, other pastors, when you bado wajatoka kwa shell, ya kuongea. Yakuambia watu and and actually clarify what tithe is na why camera up. Nyinyi ambao mnaniangalia wa Kenya. Let me tell you something. If you still for you to be rich, ukiibadio ukue tajiri. Huwa utajiri hauna akiba ya kukutwa na watoto wako. And the Bible says in Proverbs 13 verse 22, a good man revealed inheritance to his children children, but the wicked of the uh, uh, the, the wealth of the wicked is in store for the riches. Watch how easy Hauta tajirika na wizi. Okay. Number two, nyinyi mapasta, ambao muko kwa kakuni, diyo musifutu wa kazi. Mutu wa kazi, <laughs> anza kanisa yako. <laughs> Kama unaficha ukweli kwa sababu umeandikwa, toka uko. Mungu amesema atabariki kazi ya mikono. Kama una mikono, uko na job. Okay. Okay. The third one, and the, the last one, one you... is about tithing. Yes. My brother, Tithing is for protection. If you tithe, God will build a wall around you to protect what you get out of the offering. The more you give offering, the more you get much material things. The more you give tithe, the more you get a strong wall. Yes, wall yes. If you don't have a wall, anybody can, can come and chomua chomua your vitu. But if you have a wall which is protecting nothing, then it is useless. So give tithe and give offering. And God will bless you. Na ukuja kwetu kanisani. Na kama una sadaka, tafadhali don't try to come. <laughs> okay. If I, if I, if I, final question before, before I let you go. Ukisema kwenu kuna lodging mm. kwa kanisa. Kwa, eh, ni, ni, uh, unajua ni kukodesha, tumekodesha. Okay. So Na mwenyewe lodging. hage bomua lodging kwa sababu ni mekodesha kanisa. Bas. So kuna lodging alafu kanisa. Yeah. Ampatangi watu walikuwa na, niya yao ni kukuja kwa kanisa lakini wana... Ah, ah, ukitoka nyumbani, kama we si wazimu, unajua mahali unaerekea. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Na wezi, ni kama vile wezi kuzui ya mtu wakunyo pombe. Uh -huh. eh, wezi, tagu utotoni, hata udimbi kwa bibiria. Watu walikuwa wakikunywa. Lakini kuna ya, wa ile klasi ya kukunywa pombe. Ni watu wanawerekea kukufa. Wana naruhusiwa kukunywa. Watu wanaelekea kukufa. Wa hawa na ruhusiwa. Hii gine, tunakunyua kwa sababu ime, imeodeiniwa, imebarikiwa pare kanisani, unaikura kama meza ya buwana. Na yesu wakawambia, wanafunzu wake, tukunyua hii pamoja na dio ya mwisho. Kukunyua pamoja na nyinyi. Hiyo gine, tutakunyua biguni. So do practice, it makes it perfect. Wabi makofi ya mankush. <laughs> thank you. Asante thank you for coming on the show. I think umejibu hizo maswali zote. Asante sana. Uh, very precisely. Yeah. Na kama una sadaka usijaribu kwenda kwa kanisa ya Bank. Yeah. <laughs> Before tumalize, yeah. ninalipiwa wapi? Wapi? Hii job. Eh. Ah, kubiri. Hawa watatoa sadaka. Hawa yeah. watatoa sadaka. <laughs> thank you very much. Ah, hawa watatoa sadaka. <coughs> And kama una sadaka don't go to ma. Mtu akikuja bila sadaka anafukuzwa. Ah ah, unakaa tu viti ya nyuma. <laughs> Mahali sauti ya ifiki poa. <laughs> That's it for the weekend edition. My name is Dr. Kingori. See you next week.